So, what's going on guys? It's your boy Blurry Day back with another Digibook unboxing. If you haven't checked out the previous review, please go check it out. This one I also got in the mail today, and here I have another really cool Digibook that I've been wanting to complete this collection, and hopefully they'll do that with the new Spider-Man films pretty soon. Um, <clears throat> today, here I have the Andrew Garfield, the Amazing Spider-Man Limited Edition 2 film collection. Yep, that means... You're only getting The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, man. Um, I gotta say, I, I still love the second one. It's still my favorite. Um, just because, again, like I said in the previous video, I love the concept of like having multiple uh, villains in the movie just to give the hero a challenge, you know? I mean, some of you might disagree. Like, you could say, oh, it's just one villain. Like, you get... They give the hero a real challenge. Like, I, I would agree, but, you know, with, um, when you give multiple heroes in here, like, uh, that, that's giving the hero, um, did I say villains? Ah, like, add multiple villains in here to give the hero a real challenge. I, I don't know. I'll have to look it back in post. So, anyways, um, yeah, this is a 27 release. And, again, I was aware of this. And I wanted to get the Blu-ray here just because I love the blue one here. It looks so good. And, uh, of course, I, I use the digital code, so don't be asking. Um, of course, you get uh, three different villains here. They they should have added Rhino here, though, because he's really a villain. And uh, I know they were, going, they were trying to go for the Sinister Six after two. Amazing Spider-Man 3 was supposed to happen, but things got whacked. But hopefully, when... Um, both Toby and Andrew come into the new Spider-Man 3. They'll, they'll get their contracts renewed and then we'll give them back their movies, you know? So as you can see, this one's a bit skinnier. I, I decided not to go with 4K because I don't think it's worth watching these movies in 4K. And plus, I really like the blue. Here's the back. Of course, I still have the other Digibook, so if you want to go check that out, go ahead. And uh, I still have the original two Blu-rays. Um, I am thinking of giving them away to a friend, but I will keep the slipcover here. But here's the problem. Um, in this Digipack, it says there's new special features, so I wonder if they put that on the Amazing Spider-Man bonus disc. Or if it's a completely new disc, then I am keeping the original bonus disc from this Blu-ray. So. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, yeah, just like the other... Digibook, you get like a book tells you behind the scenes of the the two movies. I like Mark Webb's uh, interpretation of this Spider-Man, and uh, I love the movie Gifted that he made. So props to him. Okay, so again, I really love what they do here. So let's look at the discs. So yeah, you only get three in here. So just like with the Sam Raimi trilogy discs, you get the discs this card here. Sorry, I can't speak today. Gosh. <clears throat> so, don't get on me, guys, if I say The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is still my favorite, so. Again, we all have opinions, right? Bonus disc. I mean, uh, of course, they would release these at a time when Spider-Man Homecoming was coming up because, you know, you gotta talk about the new Spider-Man, right? So yeah, um, really love the cover art here. Um, I still think these are good movies, guys. Um, Andrew Garfield's like a, a number two Spider-Man for me. I, I just feel like that way. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and rate. Please turn on the post notification bell if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, so bye. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys.